we, Kudhiya workers, want to welcome the lifting of the minimum salary to the lowly paid people from and with 14%. The Jubilee government has set up a benchmark on the way forward to make sure that the future is bright. The future of the lowly paid people will not only be relying on the minimum salary, but there are also efforts to see that productivity in terms of producing whatever they are producing is fairly remunerated. I can assure you, a poorly paid employee means you will not be able to deliver the services. You will not be able to be committed because he is worried about the future of the low paid salary. So the 14% is a welcome guest. Right now, the, all the employees in the low paid person, domestic workers, the watchmen, the security guards, those who are, don't have collective bargaining agreement is 80,590. Now, if you increase the, if you increase the, the 14 percent, we are expecting around 9,700. And this is where we are saying, if you imagine a domestic worker who has one or two children, a watchman who has one or two children, they need to go to school, they need to pay rent, surely. Is 9,700 shillings enough? Can you compare that with an employer, with a managing director, who is getting over a million shillings? Who is getting over 500,000 shillings? The minimum salary for a domestic worker will be now from 1st May around 9,700. What does that mean today, from today onwards? It means if you have a domestic worker, who is committed, who is working for you from 1st May, that is, should be the salary of getting at the end of the May. That worker is supposed to lean up for our, his own efforts to be able to make sure that the employer is happy with the worker one is performing. We as trade unions, we are happy with the minimum, but the trade union have a role to negotiate collective bargaining agreement. So the 14% becomes a benchmark that from today onwards we must be negotiating for a better salaries for our staff and for the employees in Kenya and above all to make sure that there is a rule of the law of just fair remunerations. We are dismayed by the employers, Kenya Association of Manufacturers, Federation of Kenya Employers, I'm wondering why should they always be talking against any increment of salary, thinking that everything is expensive. My question to them is one, who produces for them? Is it the machines only or it is human capital? Why don't they look, look another angle and say, yes, now we are motivating you with your 14%, it is high time you people you have to produce. They should be positive, not always criticizing. Because a well-paid employee means he is committed. I want to ask a very uh, liberal question. Why do the management, the employers, want to have a very wide gap in terms of wages? between the managing director, the management, and the staff, the already paid person. Who are many on the ground? Who are really producing? We know the managing director gives the direction, but who is on the ground? So we are saying it is high time the employers should look at their way of looking things and say, let us empower our rural paid people to be able to say they are able to purchase the same goods the managing director is able to purchase the same goods the same services the managing director is going to use 
what the government and what the brothers should be telling us now, they are going to give us a better environment, better equipment, better tools, investment more. They invest more. And then all of the employees will be very happy because they have got now extra per hundred shillings, 14 shillings.